Hello, lovies. It's Gina, a.k.a. Gina Louise. Today, we are going to make this beautiful birdhouse that I was inspired by an anthropology dresser. I wanted to do something small at first before I tried it on a big piece of furniture, and I just love the way it came out. And let's get started. For this DIY, you're going to need a birdhouse, some floral molds, some cornstarch, air dry clay, I like to use type on wood glue, you can use whatever glue you love, soft pastels in gray tones, some sandpaper, and some clear wax. In an upcoming video, I will show you how to make a birdhouse out of pallet wood because the one I used, I actually made from pallet wood. I took a bunch of floral molds that I had. I used IOD molds. You can use any molds you have as long as you have some florals and some leaves. I dusted the inside of the molds with some cornstarch because it helps the clay to fall out of the mold much easier. Now I just take the clay and I roll it up in my hand to make it nice and soft and then I push it into the mold and the IOD molds are wonderful because they have this little edge around each image um, and then if you just keep pressing the clay and pushing the clay toward the edge it will make a nice clean cut and then with the cor cornstarch that's in the mold the pieces will just fall out so easily. So here are all the pretty pieces I made with the clay. I did a lot of leaves and I did some of these um, scrolly lines and I did lots of roses, rosebuds. And now I am going to just place them on the birdhouse. I'm not gluing them yet. I just want to figure out how I want to place them on here. And I'm taking some air dry, cl air dry clay and I am rolling it into a long tube. Unfortunately, it wasn't directly centered in the camera. I'm sorry about that. But I am taking them and I am using them for like the branches of the rose bushes and I'm placing everything all over each side. I'm doing one side at a time and I'm just placing them where I want them to be and how they, how they look pretty to me. And then I'm going to glue them. Now I'm happy with where I placed everything and I'm just going to get my type on glue and I'm going to start gluing everything down in place. And I'm going to do this to each side of the birdhouse, one at a time, letting each side dry.
So here are my finished sides and now I just have to wait for all the clay to dry and the glue and then I'm going to go over it with my clear wax. And now for some good ASMR. Just apply the wax. Time for the soft pastels. So now I took the pastels and I just lightly rubbed them against the sandpaper to create a nice powder. And now I'm just going to cover the birdhouse with clear wax. Now I'm just adding the powder from the soft pastels with a waxing brush all over and then I'm going to just take a, a paper towel and I'm going to just rub away the excess. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so I could bring you more of these DIYs. If you know of something I could have used in place of the black soft pastels, please leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you. Now I'm going to use more clear wax and I'm just going to use that so I could get the soft pastels in all the nooks and crannies and make it look blended. I'm adding a little more pastel powder here to get it in all the nooks and crannies. Some more blending with the paper towel and I just keep going back and forth with that until I get the look and shade that I want.
And here are the final results. I hope I've inspired you to make a fancy schmancy birdhouse this summer to decorate your yard and to make some of our feather friends happy. Thanks for watching.